Hi, welcome to Phil's Tech Help. Today I'm going to be showing you on how to speed up your Mac. It's really simple. Step one, clear your dumb desktop. I mean, do you really need all of these icons? These thumbnails actually remove graphics memory because your Mac has to show all of those little images. So I just drag them into a little folder. We're here. Here's all my stuff there. Okay, now what you need to do is close the widgets. So yeah, yeah, I have all of these widgets. Okay, I don't need that Safari. I don't need to know what day it is. I don't want to know the time. I don't even have any address book contacts. I don't need any sticky notes. I don't calculate stuff. And I don't even care what the weather is in Cupertino. And there, we just closed all of the widgets. And I bet this freed over 200 of megabytes of RAM. That will actually speed up your computer pretty quickly. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to head open, head to System Preferences. Select Energy Saver. By default, you should have automatic graphic switching enabled. You should probably disable it. You know why? Well, because it actually lowers the computer's performance when it doesn't really need it. So uncheck it so it can use high performance all the time. So you can have high performance graphics and play games at their full potential. Okay, now after we close this, there's one last thing we need to do. We need to open up system preferences again. And now we need to go to iCloud. Okay, so photo stream. Like I take lots of photos on my iPhone, of course I don't. So I'm just gonna uncheck that. Bookmarks, not really, I don't really use that. I don't use calendars. Delete. And I don't use contacts. Uh, email, I'll just leave that. Okay, now, this will hopefully speed up Safari. So what you need to do is you need to go to Safari Preferences and then head over to the Privacy tab. You should select Remove All Website Data. That will erase all of the gigabytes of files that websites push to your computer so they can load up faster. Remove now. So there, it just removed all of them. But then it just found another website. But whatever, at least I removed 76 of them. Okay, now we can close Safari. Now you have to make sure that after you're done using applications, especially for computers with low RAM, you should probably quit them for optimal performance and to save RAM. Last tip. So go ahead and head over to all my files. Search for .dmg. So here you have a few disk image files that you use to install applications. So, simply select them and erase them because you don't need them after you install the application. They're just there to in for you to install the application again just in case if you erase it. So, there we just erased it and now we just need to empty the dumb trash. Yes, I want to empty the trash. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Remember to subscribe, comment, and like this video. More videos coming soon.